Welcome back everyone to another video. Again, it's me, David, and we are at a site, let's just say it's like an hour and a half away from our shop, which is like the furthest we ever drive, and I had to come and bring a fish transport container because today it appears we're ripping out a pond, and whenever we do that, a lot of times these guys have creatures and fish inside of their pond, and we use these, you know, foldable two, three, four hundred gallon bins, put a pump in it, and we transport the fish in there while we're working on their pond. So right now we got Jorge in the big bobcat right there. And looks like we've taken out quite a lot of bigger stones, liner, boulder, taking it out. There apparently was, looks like a big waterfall climbing up there. And we got all these, which is the ch <laughs> I, okay, this, these are some big stones here, but maybe we're gonna re, I don't know if we're gonna use these stones when we build it again. I doubt it, but they might be big enough to where the owners want to keep them because they look good. And then we got Julian making routes all the way along the back to our dirt trailer out there. So this is what we got, Aquascape. I think they also sell these if someone else wants one, but you know, it's a few hundred gallons. You just set it up. We're gonna keep it about there. And looks like we moved all of their fish into this little past the bridge and into here. Looks like there was one small koi that didn't make it, but we took out a lot of their plants and we got koi plants. And we're gonna use a pump, probably take some of this water and a hose and put it over getting those koi fish to a little bit of a nicer home instead of just in the little pond here, which, you know, is gonna drain, doesn't really have any oxygen in it right now, so we gotta transport fish. All right, somehow I was able to put it together all by myself. Normally that doesn't happen, but we're just gonna fill this up. Maybe, you know, probably as much water as we can get really, because there's not much in there. We might put like half hose water and then half of their water in it because there is not a lot in there. But as you can see, we're gonna do a little process. Jorge's got all the rocks, old liner, boulders. And then we got Julian inside the smaller bobcat transporting it out to Jesus, who is kind of outside the property by our truck. So he's really just gonna move some of this stuff out to the side. Looks like, again, they had a big waterfall, probably went into a pond right here, and then the fish were probably able to go into the bridge and into that smaller area where they are right now. My guess is it could be, they, they may just want it all torn out, but my guess is that we're probably gonna be building them a whole new pond and waterfall. I don't know what Jorge's plan was for all those fish, but I'm gonna let him do all that. And so I came out here, along these steps and way over there you might just be able to see julian with our truck and they're loading it up right over there and i've already been working i i'm out here and i brought i brought the big pond liner a separate slightly smaller pond liner but it still was huge and then underlayment and some other equipment but let's check up on the progress because we didn't think we were going to do this today but they ended up making a lot of progress, so let's check it out. So over here, we got all the stones like we saw beforehand, but we pretty much have a fresh pond now, and all the dirt is pretty much, you know, I believe they have probably a fairly good uh, outline already, which is why we did this all so quick. And so again, I don't know what we're doing with the waterfall over there, but we have all the separate levels that we have. We're uh, breaking off some of their little patio there uh, to make it all fit right. That's gonna be cool to see what we do with that. Again, we still have all our big machinery and it looks like we ended up putting some of the fish over here. I didn't know where we put them originally, but they have a fair amount of live plants that are still healthy. And we got the, uh, the pump running right there to keep this all oxygenated. So some of the koi are probably hiding under all these plants. And so we got Jorge hopping up in here, but this all right here 
was the pond that we saw last time. Make sure we don't get hit right here. That's basically right where the pond was. And so there's the little bridge that we saw previously right over here. And so right now it looks like we're just figuring out more of the contours of the pond. It's gonna be a big and deep pond, which is amazing. It's gonna turn out great. And we still have all these big boulders, which I hope we still use because this is actually a very cool type of stone. But there's a good chance that we might not use any of this and we'll just use uh, some of our local rocks that we can get by our shop. Now the guys are actually staying up here uh, because it's such a long drive, the price of gas, everything with that. It's cheaper to just rent out like a, I don't know their exact plan, but they're basically more or less renting a hotel out here. And they're still literally staying out here an hour and a half away, hour and a half, two hours away from home uh, just to finish this pond. So it's gonna be pretty cool to see how this all turns out and uh, watch all their dedicated work out here because it's, it's not easy.